Hey, 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 what's going on? This is uh, the off season. I'm your boy, OG Tim Wilson. I always forget the name of this damn show. And we are, we're like deep into it and I still forget the name of this show. Big Ed is freezing up tonight. So y'all be, y'all just be careful and just watch if he, if he freezes every now and then, just ignore it. It's okay. We get it. We understand. I'm your boy, OG I'm Tim poor. Wilson. I am here with the uh, nasty boys, Big Ed and Waves. What up, though, fellas? That's good. What up, though? What up, though? We got a lot to talk about tonight. This is the off season. The off season, we talk a lot of sports, and we call it the off season because our sports show is mainly focused around football. A fantasy football show called the Showdown. And until while we're in the off season, we wanted to keep talking sports. So we started this show, and we hope y'all enjoy it. I want to give a shout out first and foremost to our face, favorite Facebook groups, the Broad Street Bullies Face Fantasy Football Group, the BSB, and the Southwest Fantasy Football Group, SWFFG. We are endorsed by the BSB, not by the SWFFG. They don't like us. And that's okay, because we still enjoy being a part of the group. That's all. So we gonna roll with that. So you know what I'm saying. And that said, man, let's do a toast real quick because I like to dive right in. All right. Boom! It's going out to all my fantasy footballers out there, especially SWV. Ah, the sister with gonads. Uh, so <laughs> check it out. Um. Me speaking, of SW, speaking of SWV, all right. I got an interesting message randomly last week because I know I know they 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 tune into the off season more than they like us to know. Mm-hmm. But a member of SWV tuned in to the What Up Those Show last week, uh-huh. and. He Hit me off a barrage of messages in my DMs. Going in. Because we talked about Donald Trump. Oh, God. <laughs> and oh, God. Acorn, Acorn hit me up. He was butt hurt. And he had quite a bit to say, especially the big head. Oh, that doesn't surprise me, actually. Why am I acting surprised? I don't know. <laughs> so he asked if he could come on the show and debate big head. Okay. Well, actually, he came. He, he he asked to come on the show and just school us. I said, "Look, man, I don't do the politics thing." I said, I, you know, I used to, and just for the record, I've run for office. I used to be in the politics. I would surprise you with my knowledge of politics, of, of politics as it was. And I got out of politics and I left it alone. I used to debate politics. But when politics started getting blurred with, with life and death situations, it, 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 it and and it turned me off. And when it got to the point where it's no longer about right and wrong, it's just about right and left, it turned me off. And I got out of politics. That's why I don't talk politics. I don't get into it. Um, he thinks he can school me. He would be surprised. Right. But I'm okay with that because what I don't want to do is talk my way into a debate. But what I told him I am willing to do is moderate. Okay. I am willing to moderate as a unbiased, apolitical observer between Big Ed and Acorn. Hey, I'm gay. Can I be a shit starter or should I just hang back? Absolutely you can. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> you can be the instigator. Wave will be the instigator. I will be the moderator, the voice of reason. Um, he said something that I really want to respond to. 
but I'm not going to because I don't want to give Big Ed any ammunition. But I really, really want to respond to it. But I'll wait. So, Acorn, it sounds to me like your challenge has been, have, has been accepted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's and been happy. I am absolutely willing to sacrifice the What Up Doe show for this debate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. So the next episode of the What Up Do Show, which by the way we record on Friday Friday evening, so I will hit you up, Acorn, and give you an exact time that I'm going to be sending you the invite, and um, and we'll do this. Big Ed and Acorn, I'm ready. Debating politics on the What Up Do Show. I'm ready. I'm not in it. I'm not in it. I got some what I wanted to, what I said I do want to respond to, I will respond to on my own time. Some other time, I will not be in it. I do not want to influence this at all. I am going to be an unbiased, apolitical voice of reason. And ways is a shit start. <laughs> okay. And it's on. Fair enough. Ways of. Big Ed is frozen again. I just noticed that. <laughs> He's like frozen, frozen. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to it, though. I am. I am. Now, he said he's going to school you, Big Ed. I can't hear nothing. He said he's going to school you. So I, I, that's all I got to say. He can't hear it. Let's, let's give him Let's give him 10 seconds. Let's see. Do you hear us? I can't hear nothing. <laughs> Okay, so now that our deaf mute Big Ed is back, um, he's froze again. Okay, so he said he said he gonna no, school you. He said he gonna school you. You froze. Though. You did freeze, by the way. He's not gonna school me. That's what he said. That's he what gonna he said. get. Uh, he said he's going to school you. He's gonna get he, said school. He, he said he don't really like teaching grown folks, but he's going to school you anyway. I love teaching grown folks. So, As an agent of chaos, I have the sole purpose of making sure that no one gets anyone's point. No one gets anyone what? Anyone's point. <laughs> no one learns anything. That I don't think that's going to be hard to do because that's one thing about politics is that it's really hard to convince the other side that they oh, yeah. so it's going to be interesting it's going to be i just know criminals belong in jail <laughs> oh shit okay let's go back please don't don't okay. start off save it, save it save it don't give away your info don't give away your ammunition man it's enough you heard it acorn i told you i was gonna get right to it so you don't have to watch the whole show to hear it you heard it. It's right there. It's on Friday. I'll give you the info. I'll tell you when to be here and we'll be here or be square. And that's it. All right. NBA finals ended last night. Great game. Fantastic game. But it ended in five. Yep. Right, guess who won? Denver Nuggets. Ways. Ways. Not the Heat. Not the oh. Heat. The Denver Nuggets did defeat the Heat in five. Um, I all the respect to, to the Miami Heat, though. I mean, I, I don't want to. Uh, they played their ass off. Um, they gave Denver a game last night, and they, they, they didn't go out like no punks at all. They got blew out the first game, but after that, they gave them a run for it every game. For a team that didn't even make the playoffs, they made the play. Not only did they make the play in, they lost their first game in the play-in. Mm. And then had to play one more game, one elimination game. You lose and you're out, or you win and you get in for the eight seed. And they won and got in with the eight seed. Yeah. Mm. And then beat the off seed. So they lost to Atlanta with, in the play-in. I'm not even talking about playoffs. In the play-in, they lost to Atlanta yep. at first. So Atlanta got in, and then they had to play – one more game and either 
be in or out, and they won the second game and got in. I got in off the skin of the the hair on their chinny chin chin. <laughs> None of them niggas got beards. <laughs> <laughs> And they got in on the eight seed and they ran through Milwaukee. They ran through New York. They ran through Boston and ended up in the apps in the finals. It was an amazing run. It was impressive. They got a lot of heart, they get very scrappy. So I got nothing but respect for them, but man, the Denver nuggets, uh, uh I think they're here to stay, man. They here to stay. They are a team to be reckoned with. That freaking, that, that freaking Joker ain't no joke. Nikolai Jokic, and he just sat in the locker room like he was ready to go. Everybody <laughs> celebrating. He like, I thought it was over. I don't have to be here. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I'm just here for the parade." Do I, do I get to? Don't I get to leave now? I thought it was over. I was ending this so we could be go home. I'm gonna go home. They just celebrating it. He just sitting in his, sitting there drinking a Red Bull. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Impressive, Nikolai Jokic. He won the uh, MVP. Mm-hmm. Uh, any thoughts by y'all? I'm just I'm just spewing, man. Any thoughts? No, it, it, shit, it was a good series. I like how Big Ed always say no, and then he got something to say. He always say no, and then he say something. My you got something to add? No, I don't got nothing to add. I just want to say. All right, go ahead. It was a good series, and what? I expected oh. Miami to be able to do more. I did. But, I think they did everything I expected them to do. I think they gave it. Yeah. They all. I think they did. They put up. They put up a valiant effort. They didn't lose like punks. I mean, they could have won three of those four games that they lost. They could have won. They were in it. They were in it. They made a run in the quarter. They could have won three of those four games, even including last night. I mean, they, they got it down to one point late in the game with less with like a minute, something. So they were, they were in the game. They just, they was just, you know, Jimmy went to the hole and didn't have no place to go with the ball. They ended up throwing it away. And, that turned it. That that's what that was the beginning of the end. That was the nail in the car. Yeah. After hitting two absolutely phenomenal three pointers. So I know Ways. Ways ready to move on. Ways like, are we done talking basketball yet? No, look, I'm, I'm gonna be real. You know, I could uh congrats to Denver and everything. You know, you guys know I'm not a basketball guy at all. So yeah, I just congrats. <laughs> that's okay. it. I got nothing to add at all. So now it's time. Now, hey. now, go ahead. Oh, I was, I was gonna say, I, I saw another interesting story about Jokic. He was due to make forty-four million. Okay. But okay. Because so, of a tax that's, that's placed on max players by Jordan, from Jordan, he's only making like twenty-two. I didn't hear that story. I don't know. I don't know. I can't confirm or deny it. Um, but now comes the punishment on John Morant. Yeah, it's coming. So what do you think? I think they're going to wait maybe till after the parade. Let them in, let them have this whole moment. Right. I think they're going to let them have this entire moment, have their parade. Mm-hmm. I heard nine people got shot in Denver last night during the celebration after the championship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. They had the suspect in custody. Wow. That motherfucker. It was probably John Moran. Well, how do y'all go get this shit now? I got to get my punishment. He said, I told you I'm real. He started busting motherfuckers. And you know what? I was I was hoping. I mean, I see. I, I get it. He's going to let them have that whole moment and everything. They go probably go through the parade. After the parade and everything dies down, then he probably going to make come down with his decision. But it would have been just dope to me. It would have been great. I was there. I watched stayed up all night to watch it to see if he would do it. Adam Silver come to the mic. I would like to crown the 2023 champion Denver Nuggets. Yay! John Morant, now you get 40 games. (laughs) (laughs) 
Hey, shit, $10 at once, man. That would have been beautiful. Uh, the Madden cover came out. They say announced the Madden cover. I think it's the coolest cover I've seen. Um, I don't know if you've got a chance to see it, but uh, Josh Allen is on the cover. But the cool thing is he's up in the crowd. It's the first Madden cover that got, got the crowd in it. So yeah. in the stands and with the crowd, you would think it would have been a Packer that got that love before because they do the Lambo leap. So uh, the Bills got the time, got the first cover that got the fans in it. And um, Buffalo fans are nervous about the Madden curse. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't be nervous. No, I, w- I wouldn't be worried about the Madden curse no more because it hasn't been true the last few years. That's gonna be some final destination shit for maybe the last <laughs> five, five to ten years. The man curse hasn't rang true. You know what? You know what's funny is that he freezes and don't know it, and then he speeds up when he comes back and like it catches up. And he go, but I, I didn't know it wasn't true. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody sees him freeze with him. It's funny to me. He's like Big Ed Max Hedrum. Well, see, when I freeze, you guys freeze. Oh, yeah. When I freeze, you freeze just like that. You guys freeze on my screen. You move just like that. So when we freeze, then you know you're frozen. Just know that. Just know that when you see us freeze, it's you. You know when it's everybody else, it's usually you. Yeah. Okay. That's That's the rule. If it's everybody else, then it's probably you. Everybody went left and you went right, they're probably right and you're probably wrong. But there's another Madden story I got here. What's that? Madden has predicted the 2023-24 playoff picture. So the Madden 23-24 NFL playoffs have been predicted. Y'all want to start AFC or NFC? AFC. So with the AFC, our wild card has the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the New York Jets. Ooh. Who do you think wins that one? Okay. I will give it to the Jets. I don't know who Big Ed said because he was frozen. No, I'm going to go Jags. You know, he just did a max paper. <laughs> Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is out in the first round to the Jags, 37-20. Kansas City in the first round goes up against the Cincinnati Bengals. I think the Bengals are that match. Bengals. Forget? I mean, ways? I'm going to go with the Chiefs. And yes, the Kansas City Chiefs win by seven over the Bengals. 35-28. And the Buffalo Bills go up against the Cleveland Browns in the first round. Who do you think wins? Go Buffalo. I'm going to go Buffalo. Buffalo wins 42-31 and moves on. In the divisional round, should I go there or should I go to the NFC first round? Let's go first round NFC. Go NFC. Let's go first round NFC. This first matchup is very interesting for two reasons. The Detroit Lions go up against the Chicago Bears. <laughs> Big Ed goes crazy because the Bears is playoff. In the first round, who wins that one? Who we'll go Bears? The Lions. The Lions win 17 to 5. Interesting score. Philadelphia Whoa. Eagles go up against the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to go Eagles. I'm going to go with the Cowboys. The Cowboys defeat the Eagles 35-28 in an upset. Here's another doozy. The Atlanta Falcons go up against the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> oh, Seahawks. 
There ain't no Seahawks. reason the Falcons should be in there. The see. Atlanta Falcons defeat the Seahawks 24-17. What the hell? <laughs> Back to the AFC Divisional Round. The Baltimore Ravens, who had the best record in the AFC in the bye week, take on the Buffalo Bills. I'm going to go Buffalo. I'm going to go Buffalo. Buffalo in a close 17-14 upset. The Jags take on Kansas City. Oh, KC. KC. By three. KC in a bombarding of Jacksonville, 28-13. to The divisional round in the NFC. The best record in the NFC goes to the San Francisco 49ers who take on the Cowboys. 49ers. 49ers. 49ers with a blowout, 31-17. And then the Detroit Lions take on the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, Lions. I'm going to go Detroit. Detroit wins a close one, 38-31. Back to the AFC Championship game between Kansas City and Buffalo. I want to say Buffalo, but it's going to be KC, I bet. I'm going to go Buffalo. Kansas City wins 28-17, and they're into the Super Bowl again. San Francisco takes on the Detroit Lions in the NFC Championship game. San Fran. San Francisco in a blowout, 31-8 to over the Lions, goes into the Super Bowl against Kansas City, a rematch of a couple years ago. Hmm. San Francisco against Kansas City in the Super Bowl. Who wins this time? Kansas City. San Fran. Kansas City wins the Super Bowl 37 24. And that is your 23 24 NFL playoff matchup, according to Madden 23. I don't like it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, they're they're using the twenty three rosters though, bro. They're not using the twenty four rosters, huh? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because if it's brought to us by Madden twenty three, they're using the twenty three rosters. So no, they're using the last no. season rosters. No, this is this is no, this is you know what? No, well, I don't, no, I don't because, agree with you. Because the new players haven't been put in the game yet until 24 comes out. It's, 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 you know, well, maybe somebody has access to it. Maybe somebody has access to something that you don't. How about that? How about somebody has access to something that you don't? Heck, for, the, for all we know, they could have been the ones that released it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, always trying to come up with a reason. Be happy that the Bears made the playoffs. Oh shit! Believe me, I am. Always, always gotta be voicing <laughs> disdain. Dalvin Cook is out of Minnesota officially. Where does he land? I don't know. I heard Miami's off the table. Miami is off the table, really? Yeah. Right? I thought that would be a good place for him to land. What do you think, Wade? Uh, I think Baltimore. I think Baltimore is a little shaky on J.K. Dobbins. Why not bring in Delvin Cook? Not a bad thought. Not a bad thought at all. Uh, what if he ends up? Who's who's the running back for the for um for the Jets? Michael Carter, he could yeah, end up. Michael Carter. Yes. He can end up. I can see. Game. I can see that. I can see him landing there. I can see him landing there. That would be interesting too. And him and Aaron Rodgers already have a pretty cool relationship as it is. And they used to be former rivals, and now they can be together, and and they both got a chip on their shoulder. Oh, oh. that could be interesting. That could be. Heard a report. Heard a report that he's looking at Chicago too. Why? <laughs> get a big payday. That would be interesting. Chicago is not a bad. Wouldn't be a. Oh, it's not a bad move, but I don't. I don't see him going there. Really, I don't see him staying in the NFC North. 
That wouldn't be a terrible landing spot for him, though. That would not be terrible. Um, it, it, it's a running back by committee. What kind of what kind of what kind of fantasy value do you put on Dalvin Cook right now? I have him as a bust. Uh, mid first round. You still think he's first round? You think he's still first round? Yeah. It depends on where he goes. If it's a, I would pick him if he's available. I pick him probably second or third. I'm thinking. I'm thinking more. I'm, and I'm thinking closer to third than second. Yeah. But I do agree with Big Ed. It does depend on where he lands. Because if he lands where there's another, uh, where there's an RB one, which means he's going to get pushed to an RB two, I think that pushes him to third round. If he lands somewhere where he can be RB one, then uh, I would I can see second round. I can see him going second round. Um, but it depends. Yeah. Leave us your thoughts, folks. Where do you think he's going to land? Saquon Barkley is holding out. And uh, he made some interesting quotes. One, he said, um, they tagged the top three guys. We didn't even get a chance to hit the open market. They put the cap at $10 million, And when they have the tag, they have all the leverage. That's the reality. And um, Big Ed, you said that he, you had a quote from Saquon as well. Go ahead, share it with us. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> you, would I got think, it. <laughs> you would think I gave him ample time to get prepared. Right here. Right here. <laughs> right here. I, I looked some that was up. terrible. I, I, I sent y'all something in, in the chat. That, that, that's why I was why? off the screen. Why? <laughs> but uh, Saquon said it's all about Never mind. About okay. respect. It's misleading for sure. I think I came out and said, uh, he, he said, I think I came out and said, I want to be a giant for life. And I'm not trying to reset the running back, Mark. Yeah. It... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Wade. See, I, I became a fan of him that moment when he had that quote because he made it very clear this isn't about the money. It's I want to be paid what I'm worth to this franchise, not as a running back, but to your franchise. And based off of my leadership in the locker room and my uh, work ethic on the field, I believe I should be paid higher because don't need to blow up the market for it. And I like that he's very being very, very realistic about what running backs get paid in this league. He's being very realistic about what people think about running backs, how are, how we fit in the pay scale. So I'm not trying to rock the boat. I'm not trying to reset the market. I'm not trying to be the highest paid player or the highest pay. Just pay, just pay the man. Just give me a, he, I think he's more concerned with getting time than money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me some years. Give me some stability that I'll be here and, and make give me a peace of mind that I'll be here for a while. And we're good. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know? And, and I, I think he's more concerned with time than money. Um, it made me think of something, though. Uh you know, there's a lot of talk. I mean, the, the running back position is, is, has been devalued big time, and I get that. Um, but I think the devaluation of the of the running back is misled a little bit in one in this sense. When you look at Atlanta and Detroit, they both picked running backs early in the draft. Mm -hmm. And everybody lost their rabbit. Everybody gave them bad grades for picking a running back so high. The running back is devalued. You shouldn't pick a running back so high because you know about blah, 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 blah. And I think that is so misguided. And I'm going right. to tell you why. I agree that a running back is devalued in this league. But I think what people are missing 
is that a running back's value is lost when it comes to signing his second contract. That's when you don't want to pay him the big money. So if his value is at its highest during his first contract, doesn't it make sense to draft the best running back? Draft the best running back when you can because you're yeah. getting him at his at the height of his value in the in that first contract. It's that second contract where you start getting careful about how much was he used and how used up is he and how much longer can he last. But that rookie that rookie contract, that first contract, that's the peak of his career these days. At the peak of the running back career. So why not try to jump and get the best running back when he's at the top of his game? As opposed to waiting and waiting and getting grabbing somebody's second round, missing the big missing the big one that came in the first round and now now you you you've not you've devalued the position and and not necessarily you know you did i think you you do yourself a disservice because you you now you're devaluing the position where you're saying i don't need the best one as opposed to saying give me the best one at the time that he's at his best and then right. when the second contract comes, we'll evaluate him. And we'll evaluate the situation at that time. Right. For now, when I don't have to pay him all the big money, I want the best one I can get. And to me, it makes sense a little bit. Yeah. It makes sense to pick the best one at, at, at the time you got your... You're able to. Right. And I agree, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was just a, that was just a thought that I had. Um, you know what? Never mind. Don't worry about what I'm defending. I don't care. You think what you want to think. That's just the way I see it. If I was picking, I think I think I would. If if I'm already set in the trenches, and there's a there's a running back that I really want that's up there, and I've he's there at my pick and he's at the top of the list of players I want. I'm not going to wait to and, and hope their second round. I'm not going to do that. Don't grab him now. Yeah. Cause for the next three years, I got him on a rookie contract and that's, that's the peak of his career is what y'all tell him. That's what the real truth is about the devaluation of the running back is that a, they peak out early. They can they can have instant success. It's the one position that has instant success more often than the others. Yeah. yeah. But in time, they wear down faster. So I don't have to pay him the big money later. Unless he's if, if you know when we cross that when we get to that bridge, we make that decision because we'll know what he is. You know. So that said, let's move on. To our picks. Y'all ready? I believe I am. Are this week yep. picking. For those that don't know, we've been picking every week. Uh three weeks, three, three weeks per week of way too early predictions on what the NFL season will bring. This week we're doing weeks 10, 11, and 12. And uh we are starting with the Carolina Panthers versus the Chicago Bears in Chicago on a Thursday night. Big Ed, who you got? I'm gonna go Carolina. Ooh, ways. Uh, I'm in shock. So I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Bears. I'm going with the Bears as well. On Sunday, November 12th, we got the Indianapolis Colts going to Boston to take on the New England Patriots. Ways. I'm going to go with the Colts. I'm going with the Patriots. As am I. As is he. The Cleveland Browns travel to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. I'm going with the... 
I'm going with the Cleveland Browns. Big head. Okay. The Browns are who? Sorry. The Ravens. I have fireworks going off behind me. Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Ravens. It, Ravens. We were froze. Uh, Cincinnati's going to help Arizona get the second pick. Which means? <laughs> Which means Cincinnati's. <laughs> I think Damn, we can't get a goddamn pick out this dude. Who are you picking? Cincinnati. Okay. Cincinnati. Wait, who you got? I got Cincinnati. I got Cincinnati as well. Um, the 49ers travel to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Wait. 49ers. 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 All right. 49ers. Saints travel to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. I am going with uh, the Vikings. Big Ed. Vikings. Just do a key. Vikings. Who you got ways? Vikings. All right. All right. Uh, the Green Bay Packers travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Big Ed. Steelers. Ways. Uh, as a. I'm going with the Packers. The Tennessee Titans travel to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers. Waves. Titans. Titans. Big it? Titans. All right. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons travel to Arizona to take on the Cardinals. <clears throat> Who against the Colonels? Falcons. Falcons. Please. The Arizona Cardinals will continue to will not win a single game this season. Falcons. I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, the Detroit Lions travel to Los Angeles to take on the Chargers. Ways. Oh, I'm going to go with the Lions. I'm going with the Chargers. Big Ed. Lions. The New York football Giants travels to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. And I am taking on the um, Cowboys. Big Ed. Cowboys. Please. Giants. The Washington Commanders travel to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Big Ed. Seahawks. Waves. Seahawks. I'm going also with the Seahawks. The New York Jets travel to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. Waves. Jets. Jets. Big Ed. Jets. Okay. <laughs> he was, <laughs> I already said it. <laughs> it's funny because you're froze and then when you unfreeze you you like do this bad speed time catch up. So would you nod your head it was like it, it did like this. Jet. Broncos traveled on Monday Night Football. The Broncos traveled to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Um, big it. Buffalo. Wait. I'm going with the Broncos. Ooh, and I'm going with Buffalo. And that wraps up week 10. Moving on to week 11. Let's see here. Thursday night football. Drum roll, please. Bada, bada. The season is still low. The season is still loading. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. All right. It's loaded. Not nah, damn. I did that too late. Um, and on Thursday, November 16th, the Cincinnati Bengals travel to 
Baltimore to take on the Ravens. What a matchup. Ways. I'm going to go with those Ravens. Ooh, I'm going with Cincinnati. Baltimore. Ooh. Uh, the Cowboys travel to Carolina to take on the Panthers. I'm going with uh, the Panthers. Cowboys. Wait. Panthers. <laughs> uh, big Ed. This is going to be a big week in football. I'm going to go Browns. Waves. I'm going to go Browns. Oh, Waves. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Browns as well. I'm going with the Steelers. Uh, the Chicago Bears travel to Detroit to take on the Lions. Uh, Waves. Lions. Detroit Lions. Big I'm going to go Bears. The Los Angeles Chargers travel to Green Bay to take on the Packers. I'm going with the Chargers. Big Ed. Packers. Wait. Going with the Chargers. The Arizona Cardinals travel to Houston to take on the Texans. Big Ed. Texans. Ways. The Texans. I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals. The Tennessee Titans travel to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. And wait. I'm going with those Jags. I'm going with the Jags too. Big hit. That makes that makes three. That makes three. The Las Vegas Raiders, Raiders travel to Miami to take on the Dolphins. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Big hit. Dolphins. Wait. What those Dolphins? That makes three again. And the New York football Giants travel to Washington to take on the Commanders. Big Ed. Giants. Wait. Commanders. I, too, am going with the Commanders. Uh, the Buccaneers travel to San Francisco to take on the 49ers. Waves. 49ers. No diggy, knee, no doubt. Uh, Four, e. 49ers. Okay. The Jets travel to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Big Ed. I'm going to go Bills. Waves. Josh Allen goes down in this season, this week. I'm going to go with the Jets. Ooh, Seattle travels to Los Angeles to take on the Rams. Uh, who are you looking at, Big Ed? Seattle. Waves. I'm going to go with the Rams. I'm going with Seattle. Uh, Minnesota travels to Denver to take on the Broncos. Waves. I'm going to go with the Vikings. I'm going to go with the Broncos. Big Ed. Vikings. The Eagles on Monday night travel to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs as a Super Bowl rematch. Who is on? It's on me. Dag Namage. I wanted to go last on this one. Yeah. I'm going with Kansas City. Big Ed. Eagles. Eagles. Wait. Going with uh, uh, I'm going with the Chiefs. With the Chiefs. Fuck Carlton, the man said. Um, Week 12. Last one and then we can get up out of this piece. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Wait a minute. Let's count it down. Count it down. Okay. While it loads, while it loads, and um, Thursday, November 23rd, we have three games on this Thursday because that makes it Thanksgiving. Ooh, yeah. Yay! So on Thanksgiving Thursday... Um, the 
Green Bay Packers travel to Detroit to take on the Lions. Who's on? Let's go with Big Ed. What the hell? Uh, I'm going Lions. Ways. Uh, I'm going to go with the Lions. Yeah, that'll make three. Cowboys, Ways. Commanders. Cowboys. Cowboys. And the last game, the the Thanksgiving night game, is the San Francisco 49ers traveling to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. I'm going with Frisco. Big Ed. Let's go Frisco. Ways. 49ers. All right. And for the first time ever, there's a Black Friday game. So the Friday after Thanksgiving at 3 p.m., the Miami Dolphins travel to New York to take on the J-E-T-S Jets. Mm. Big Ed. Jets. Waves. Dolphins. I'm going with the J-E-T-S Jets. Aaron Rodgers find a new team to own. Uh, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. The New Orleans Saints travel to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. Wait. Nope. 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 Is it one ways? Yes, it's one ways. <laughs> I'm going with the Falcons. I'm going with the Saints. Big Ed. Saints. Uh, the Steelers travel to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals, and I'm going with the Bengals. Big Ed. Bengals. Wait. I'm going with the upset, the Steelers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Jacksonville Jaguars travel to, t- to travel to Houston to take on the Texans. Uh, Big Ed. Jaguars. Wait. Jags. I, too, am going with the Jags. The Buccaneers travel to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. Uh, wait. Colts. I'm going Colts. Colts. Patriots travel to New York to take on the Giants. I'm going with the Patriots. Big Ed. Giants. Wait. Giants. Uh, The Panthers travel to Tennessee to take on the Titans. Big Ed. Panthers. Wait. Titans. I'm going Titans. Um, the Rams travel to Arizona to take on the Cardinals. Ways. Oh, that, this is really tough to not rub it in their face that they're still not winning a game this season. The Rams are going to win this one. I'm going with the Rams in this one. Big it. Big Ed. Chiefs. Ways. Uh, Chiefs. The Raiders. Uh, The Bills travel to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles. Ways. Um, I'm going to go with the Eagles. I'm going with the... uh, (laughs) Yeah. Fuck Carlton. I'm going with the Eagles. <laughs> We're going with the Eagles also. All right. Uh, the Ravens travel to Los Angeles to take on the Chargers. I'll go with the Ravens. The Ravens. Big game is yawning. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go with the Chargers. He froze it, John. He trying to hold it and he froze it. <laughs> I had a lot of. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. On Monday night, the 27th, the Chicago Bears travel to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. Oh my God! What's gonna happen? Uh, Big Ed, uh, you go first because I want to go last. Bears. Hey. <laughs> Vikings. I'm going to go with a tie. <laughs> 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 Bears gonna whoop that ass though. <laughs> I'm going with a tie. I don't want to call it. I don't want to call it. And that is our show for tonight. We want to thank you all for joining us. We had a great time. I hope you had a great time with us. That's all we got. I'm your boy OG Tim Wilson. On behalf of the crew, the the nasty boys, Big Ed and Ways. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. This is the off season and we out. Peace.